Hello and welcome to the Person of Spirit YouTube channel. My name is Alina and I'm very glad that you're watching this video. Today I want to discuss with you when coaching may be not the best decision or maybe a decision that just will not work for you. So first of all I want to mention that I'm a coach and in this video I don't have any intention to say something negative about coaching or other coaches. Uh, I want just uh, to tell a few points that maybe will be helpful for you to make a decision and to understand when coaching will be a good decision for you and when you need to search for something else. I hope that this will help you to save money, to avoid disappointment and to choose what is best for you. So when coaching is not recommended, it's not recommended for people that have mental illnesses, clinical depression and other major psychological problems that uh, requires professional doctor um, approach, and including medication and uh, including uh, therapy and a lot of other techniques that are not coaching techniques. Uh, this is the first thing. The other thing is addictions. People that have addictions, coaching may be may be uh, effective for them only if it's a very specific dedicated coaching that works with addiction that helps you to uh, stop smoking, to do alcohol or drugs, maybe stop gambling. In those cases coaching will be effective only if we are talking about very specific niche of coaching where coach is working with addiction only and it's the major goal of the coaching program. For example, I am not working with addictions, so I'm not a good coach for such um, situations. Regular coaching that is dedicated to achievement of some specific goals or analyzing some specific situations, uh, making decisions, will not work in case of addiction because addiction really takes all all or a lot of energy and focus of the person to the addiction and it will be very hard and not effective to work with coach the third type of situations when uh, coaching will be not effective it's when the person needs just to speak it out just to tell all the pain and all the doubts and all the negative emotions that they have and they, they just need to tell it to someone in order to feel a relief and maybe to find some support some uh, you know I'm listening to you everything will be okay you're gonna be fine everything will be good and things like that someone that will hold their hand and will just provide them this comfort and support it's a very important thing in life but it's not coaching so maybe you can go to a psychologist that will let you tell your story and will listen to you and will provide you this comfort and support uh, or maybe a good friend that you can even tell to your friend please don't give me advice what to do just listen to me and tell me something heartwarming give me some words of support it's what i need i don't need any advice and any plans what to do i just need to tell how it was what happened to me what i'm feeling and i need you just to listen to me and to give me support if it's a one-time uh, meeting friend also can help you but if you Feel that you need few uh, meetings like that, few sessions if we can say it's better to go to a psychologist, to go through this with psychologist. Also coaching is not that good uh, in cases when you have um, a psychological trauma. Coaching is not designed to heal trauma uh, and uh, to heal some suffering so you need to go to a psychologist with a specialization working with trauma and PTSD maybe so it's something that coach is not supposed to work with other things it's panic attacks 
And for, of course, mental illness, as I mentioned before, it's not something that a coach should work with. And as far as I know, all coaches need also to ask clients before they start uh, any sessions if you have any psychological um, problem, any mental illness. That is the reason why coaches ask this. So when coaching can help you, it's in situations when you need to make a decision, when you when you feel confused, when you feel stuck, when you need to make a decision, when you need to choose between few options, when you need to set goals and go to those goals. Those are areas of coaching. So if you need a decision-making coach, I'll be glad to, to coach you if you need to make a decision, if you feel stuck and you know what direction to go. All those things are really, really good topics to work with coach, but all other previous topics that I mentioned are not for coaching programs. One more important thing that I want to talk about in coaching, it's uh, coaching will be not effective if you are not willing to take a very active part in this process because coaching is something that hand to hand you do together with your coach and it's a process when you have a collaborative process of creating something, deciding something and doing something. So if you are not in the mood to, to take an active life position, if you are not ready to find time to do something after the coaching session before the next one, if you are not willing to analyze things, to do homework, uh, to take actions that your coach will, uh, will suggest you to do. So maybe it's not the perfect time for you to start a coaching process because a coach will not solve your problems and coach will not do things instead of you. Coach will help you to understand what things do you want to do, what things do you need to check, what things do you need to analyze. Coach will ask questions that you will need to think about them and to find your answers. It's a collaborative process that will take some effort, time and energy from you and you need to be ready for that. So uh, some coaches call people that are not ready for this uncoachable. I don't really like this word because I don't believe that people are uncoachable. I think that people decide, they just lock in their mind that they will be not coachable, that they will do nothing, they will just sit and wait for something to happen to them and decisions uh, come to them and situations to solve themselves and uh, people that decide to take this inactive life position can change their mind in any point they have a right to decide that now I will be involved in my life I will take an active life position I will do everything I need to start my new chapter in life and I will be very, very involved in a coaching process so this uncoachable person can decide and become coachable person in any point and any time, but this person needs to make this decision and a coach cannot force you to make this or any other decision. And it's important to know and it's important to mention. So I hope this video was helpful and interesting. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel about new video. Bye bye.